what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Well, Adolf Twitler is back at it again. Your president, Donald Trump, is reportedly going to live tweet Senate hearing testimony on James Coney, FBI former director James Coney, this Thursday. This should be very, very interesting. Now, let me give y'all a little backstory. James Comey is going to be questioned on reports that Donald Trump tried to get him to drop the investigation into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and also himself. Now, I personally think Comey is going to plead the fifth. If you don't plead the fifth, he's not going to give up any significant information because I feel like if he do or if he was, he'd be dead by now. So I do believe that this is all a little bit of grandstanding for Donald Trump. He kind of knows what's going on. He knows what the end result is going to be. So this is him going to be tweeting doing this little arrogant thing. And he's going to be tweeting like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what, no. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, tell me what to do. Yeah, I got this. I really do believe that's how it's going to go down. Now, the White House administration is saying that Donald Trump doesn't plan to put his Twitter down. They said that He's going to keep it in. Basically, if he feels the need to respond to anything that Comey says, then he will. So y'all know how that go. That's an automatic because this dude has tweeted everything from the Oscars to the vice president uh, run. Remember when he, when he was running for price, when he was debating during the vice presidency? And uh, he was like, uh, well, not he, not he wasn't debating, but his, his uh, what was his name? Mike Pence. Mike Pence was debating. He was crazy. Like, who does that? Donald Trump. The guy that breaks all the rules. And the more rules he breaks, the people that like the idea of breaking rules so they can have favors and be able to do what they want and get away with it. They celebrate even more. See, that's the only kind of people that really like Donald Trump is the people that feel like the rules don't apply to them. The people that want to be able to do what they want to do and get away with it. The people that feel like it's everybody's fault but theirs that they ain't got shit or that they're doing bad or that their girlfriend left them. The kids don't want to speak to them. They're an outcast. And it's because of everybody but them. It's never their fault. It's always somebody else's fault. That's the way they think. Now, I can imagine how this whole Senate hearing and Twitter battle is going to go. I can imagine. I'm thinking it'll be something like, okay, former FBI Director James Comey, about this whole Trump business. Did the president ask you to shut down the investigation into Michael Flynn? And then Comey says, I'm not going to answer that. And then Donald Trump tweets out, see there, first crooked Comey lies on me and he don't want to stop the investigation. And then now he don't want to answer questions. What a loser. It's going to be huge. My victory is going to be huge all over again. 
I'll be vindicated. Just watch. <laughs> this is going to be amazing, man. Who would have ever thought something like this would happen in the United States of America? I mean, don't get me wrong. We've had some classless people in the White House. We've had some low-down, dirty people in the White House. But at least when they were actually a sitting president, they at least had the facade of class. They at least put it out in front. They faked you out a little bit, made you think that they had some class, made you think that they were decent people, at least on the outside. This dude has no filter. Everybody knows that he's a filthy, low-down, dirty, scum-of-the-earth type individual. Can't even call him a human being. This dude was genetically produced. Impossible that somebody actually born him. It was impossible. Impossible somebody actually birthed this, birthed this guy. Impossible. Couldn't have happened. You know what? If you disagree with me, I'd like to see that birth certificate. <laughs> Sounds familiar? Yeah. Now, because of this whole tweet, Super Bowl that's about to go down th Thursday night, I'm thinking in the spirit of Super Bowls, I'm going to call a few of my buddies over and get a few females over here. And we're going to have ourselves a good old party. We're going to have us a watch party. Yeah, we're going to get some drinks and some good food and good company, man. We're going to have a watch party. We're going to have a Twitter watch party. We're going to have a, no, we're going to call it a Senate hearing slash Twitter watch party. Uh, Comey versus Trump. There you go. Comey versus Trump watch party. The Comey versus Trump watch party. If you know me on a personal level, hit me up on the inbox and you in H time, man, come on through, man. I'm going to let you come on through and we're going to have a watch party on Thursday night. I got to figure out, no, I don't know if it's Thursday night. I got to figure out what time it's on. It shouldn't be Thursday night. It should be sometime in the daytime. But anyway, y'all catch my drift. We're going to have a watch party. It's going down. Comey versus Trump watch party. This Thursday. Time TBA. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.